Hi everyone. So I wanted to really quickly show you a couple of ways to attach the arms on your clock that we're going to use tomorrow in class. So let me show you, there's three ways that I came up with that you'll be able to attach your arms at home using some simple stuff. Well, maybe simple stuff, except for probably the brad, which is something that we seem to have at school, but unless you do scrapbooking, you might not have one at home. So let's, let's see how this is done. Okay, so I printed out my clock face from canvas. This is one of the ones that we put on there, and it literally is just a circle with some dashes around the edges to create the 12 hours and a dot in the middle where the hands are gonna be attached. So after I did that, I cut it out with my scissors like this, and I found a paper plate in my pantry, but you could actually put this um, onto you know, anything really, another piece of paper. If you wanted it to be something that was um, bigger, you could um, create a bigger circle. But I just found a plate and it happens to fit pretty much right on the plate, like that. Um, the other kind of paper plate, this is um, one that has like a edge, but you know, the, um, the paper plates we use at school are flatter. So maybe that type of plate might be better but this is all I have, so this is what I'm using. So I'm gonna glue this down with a glue stick. Okay, I think it's really important that you get the edges of the paper before you glue it on, and then just making sure that you try to put this in the center. Now for the arms, I'm using a piece of construction paper, and I've put glue on it, and then I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna make it twice as thick so it'll be firm and we can get it to be straight when we use it for our hour and for our um, minute hand. Most people won't have one of these. This is a paper brad that we usually have in schools. Sorry. It has two pieces of metal. You push it through the hole in the arms. You push it through the hole in the plate and then you open this on the back and it creates an area for the arms to swing. Okay, so I cut out my minute hand, which is really long, and my hour hand, which is shorter. And I punched a hole using a little push pen right in the center of that black dot. And then I put the two hands together and punched the pen through the end to make the same hole. Then you push the pen through the two arms, through the circle on the plate, flip it over. You probably want to get mom or dad to help you with this part, but when it's poking through, you're gonna take an eraser from a pencil and you're gonna push it down on the sharp part. Just, just like that. And now it's not sharp anymore. So that's how you use a thumbtack or a push pen, if you have one of these, and an eraser to attach the arms. Okay, here's a different version. You take a paper clip, you open it up, and then you open up all the edges until you have an L. See, it looks like that. Now this time, you're gonna put the bottom part of the L, backwards L, through the hole and stick it up into the plate like this. See? And on the other side of the plate, it's sticking out. And you're gonna tape that down on the back. See, so I taped it down and it's just sticking up on the other side. So on this side, you're gonna put your arms through this paper clip part. See, it looks like this. Then you take a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, get mom or dad to help you do this, and you're gonna bend that down into a little curl so that it's not poking out. It just needs to be bent so it doesn't poke you. And now the arms on your clock can move around.